At this point in our search pattern, what we're going to do is look for extra axial collections, namely extra axial blood. Uh, to do this, what we're going to do is we have our axial uh, view here on the left. We have our sagittal and coronal. We're especially going to use the coronal view here in a moment. But as far as the windowing goes, we are doing a little bit of a custom window. This is a, what's called an epidural window where the window width is set to around 130 and the level is around 50. May not be one of the presets, but if you manually window for it to look like this, be helpful for fi finding the epidural collection, namely the epidural hematoma. Um, also can see some subdural things too, uh, pretty much for a number of extra axial blood products. Now, we'll just start at the top of the skull and we're gonna look all around. You can take a quadrant approach or you can kind of do all of it at once. Um, as you get more comfortable, you can cover more brain territory at once, but what you really wanna do first is just look around and see does the brain touch the uh, outside or the inside of the skull? And if it doesn't, uh, is it because there's a collection there? Is it because of age-related volume loss, encephalomalacia? Is it because there's a vessel there? You want to evaluate kind of all of these extra axial spaces and follow around very systematically so you don't miss any area going up and down um, to see if there's any type of collection or anything that's exerting mass effect. So one easy way to do this is maybe start with anterior and then work your way around, uh, posterior and then lateral as you go up and down. So once you've done that on the axial, uh, you can you can look on the sagittal. Um, I think it's probably worth just doing a quick scroll through um, to see if you can see any big collections here. Um, but ultimately, the coronal is also going to be really, really helpful. And there's a few areas where you really want to hone in with the coronal. One is at the vertex. On the axial, it can be very hard to catch epidural collections at the vertex. So you just want to look around um, the very top of the skull. You know, for example, like this is a vessel, but we, we want to make sure that we look for anything that could be a collection. This is also a vessel here as well, too. But um, these, these vessels could, uh, you know, if they look different, could look similar to epidural collection. So you just want to look at the vertex. And then also similarly, you want to look at um, down here below the temporal lobes because collection similarly, when you're looking on your axial slices, let's just come down here. When you're looking at your axial slices, you're just slicing through this kind of uh, parallel to the floor. So you may be missing if there are collections there. So on your coronals, you want to take a real close look uh, here at the floor on both sides, right under the temporal lobes and make sure there are no collections that are hiding out down there. At this point, what you can do is switch back to kind of your standard brain window. Um, and uh, you can do this for all of your orientations. And now we just want to look for blood in the sulci. So again, you can take a, you know, a quadrant approach or look at everything at once, just be systematic and look in the sulci, we're looking for any type of subarachnoid hemorrhage, any hyperdensity that can tip, tip us off to there being blood anywhere. Again, a systematic way to do this is maybe kind of start anterior, go all the way down, all the way up, and work your way around. As you scroll up and down, looking, you know, probably too much to ask to look at each sulci individually. However, you can maybe look at quadrants or regions as you go up and down, trying to catch any blood that might be hiding around the sulci, which is going to be sign of subarachnoid hemorrhage. And that is kind of looking at extra axial blood. Um, and you'll be ready after you do that systematically, maybe on, you can, uh, again, look at different orientations. Um, the axial here is probably going to be the most helpful, but doesn't hurt to look um, at the sulci on the other orientations as well too, just to see if you're missing any type of hyperdensity, which could be blood.